be a miracle of modern medicine or a miracle from a higher power. No matter what you believe, the recovery of this Denver child, nothing short of amazing. That's right. At just four years old, his heart stopped beating for 14 hours, and then all of a sudden, it just restarted. And tonight, his family and doctors sharing only on Fox 31 something they've never seen before. Cartier McDaniel was a typical four-year-old, full of energy with a big heart and lots of love to go around. But in the matter of days, that big heart stopped beating. And they say, your son is not breathing. They, one, two, three, that's all I remember hearing. The haunting memory these praying parents relive daily. I just want to thank God, thank you God, I give you all the glory and the praise. Destiny Anderson said her son woke up with a fever and it progressed to chills frequent urination, extreme thirst, and lethargic behavior. But when his breathing became heavy, she rushed him to the emergency room at Children's Hospital Colorado. I had to carry him in because, like I said, he just wasn't moving, and his mouth was turning blue, eyes was sinking in. Nurses rushed Cartier to the back, and within minutes, he was in cardiac arrest. His heart stopped beating. We tried to revive it. There was fear that he might not survive this. Dr. Aline Maddox is a part of Cartier's medical team. She said the four-year-old was diagnosed with strep A, which led to sepsis, and his body's response to the bacteria caused his organs to fail, putting him in cardiac arrest. Dr. Maddox adding CPR was not effective, and they were forced to put Cartier on a form of life support called ECMO. It's a machine that provides support to a person whose lungs and heart are not able to function properly. The longer the time period that the heart isn't beating, the more concerned that we are that it's not going to restart. Cartier was on life support overnight and into the next day. Still, no heartbeat. Yeah, I feared that they were going to tell us that our son was gone. Anderson stunned at how quickly this progressed. Cartier had a fever on Monday and was in the PICU on life support on Wednesday, sparking a roller coaster of emotions, feeling fear. I just freaked out. I just lost it. Shock. I still couldn't. Right. And guilt. In my mind, I was just saying, God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I failed you. I failed him. 13 hours. Still no heartbeat. As family members gathered at the PICU to say their goodbyes, Anderson leaned on the support and faith of her partner. It's time to go talk to God. Talk to the man upstairs. There was no doubt in Dominique McDaniel's mind that his son would survive because of his unrelenting trust in the Lord. And with that, he clutched Anderson's hand and they prayed. Doing it still. I'm like, thank you, God. I'm keep saying that. And prayed harder. Come touch his heart right now. Wake him up. Let him see him. Let them see who you are. Jesus, come now. Come now. Come show them. And even harder with family. Within one hour, the unthinkable. His heart just restarted. Everybody else was jumping up and screaming and everything. I just, I don't know. I just couldn't still process what was going on. Like, you gave me this, the worst news of my life to the best news of my life. After 14 long hours, Cartier's heart was pumping again, something doctors have never seen before. It was really an incredible thing that occurred. Defying the odds, and some would say science, Cartier's heart is functioning perfectly now. But for his faithful family, it can only be one thing. God got to last say so, period, point blank. And I know that God is real. Don't doubt, don't doubt God and pray. And tonight they're asking for continued prayers for Cartier and his loving heart, a true medical miracle. Yeah, just an amazing story there. Cartier will likely remain in the hospital for several more weeks, possibly even months. He is on the road to recovery and slowly getting his strength back as he undergoes testing to determine if there's any possible long-term damage. But we certainly are wishing him a full and speedy recovery. I talked to the family today. He's slowly getting feeling back in his limbs and, and he's alert now. So this is just great news. And they've been leaning on that faith and it paid yeah, off. It absolutely. certainly seems. Obviously, they're trying to balance work and being at the hospital right now and they have a GoFundMe set up, I understand. So if you'd want to contribute to that. We have a link right now in this uh, story posted at KTVR.com. Pretty amazing.